How's it going everyone? And welcome to P90X Plyometrics. We're going to get going right away. Do some high knees. Uh, plyometrics. Tony Horton himself calls this the mother of all P90X workouts. So you can expect this one to be pretty tough. A lot of cardio, a lot of jumping, a lot of jumping back and forth, side to side, front back. Pretty good stuff in this workout, in my opinion. Uh, a few things that you will need for this workout. One, first of all, space. Like I mentioned, we're going to be jumping side to side for a back. Uh, so you need a decent amount of space around you. You also need a stool or a chair. And then you also need a towel. Uh, going into a run. And then of course your water because you're going to be sweating through this workout. down, kicking your butt with your feet, like that. Now this warm up is almost 10 minutes in itself. The idea for it is you gotta keep that heart rate up and you nice and warmed up for all this jumping we're gonna be doing through the workout. Go side to side, just a little jump side to side. All right, and forward and back. A little lunges here. Back side to side. This time, picking up that foot just a little bit more. This will be very similar to one of our first movements in the actual workout. We'll I'll get to that later. Right, side to side once again. All right, forward and back. Doing a lunge motion. Now we are going to be doing lunges here. We're going to be doing lunges for a couple minutes, actually. Now, in the video, they are actually doing two lunges out, like this, turning it around, two lunges back the other way. Feel free to do that, but just for the sake of me staying in frame and on the camera. I'm just doing stationary lunges here. The general format of plyometrics here is uh, sets of four motions doing it twice through and then just a quick 30 second break. Now the first three motions of the four are all 30 seconds long and then the fourth motion we'll be doing for a full minute. So the uh, 30 minute move, movement, 30 second movement, 30 second movement, and then a one minute movement. Repeating all that and then a quick 30 second break before jumping into the next set of four. 
All right. Come up the lunges. Wide stance at the feet. Down into squat. Make it a X with the hands. Because obviously, P90 X. Don't blame me for bad jokes. This is P90X. Also, by the way, I didn't give credit where credit is due as I like to do in the start of all of my part one videos. If you enjoy this workout, if you enjoy the P90X stuff that I put out, please check out P90X and Beachbody, the company that uh, hosts P90X. It's got a whole bunch of great stuff. I highly recommend them. If you like this, we'll be sure to like them. Now, if you're super new to working out and you happen to come across this, great, welcome, glad you're here. Uh, but even something like this warm up with all of our lunges and squats here might be a little difficult for you. No matter what, pace yourself if you need a couple of breaks, feel free to take them and then jump back in where you can. So we'll be doing a couple of stretches here for the next couple minutes. Just one grabbing your foot behind you. you. Should feel that stretch going down your leg here. Now if you need uh, a little extra balance, grab that chair that I said you were going to need. Put it inside yet. Put a little extra balance and that will be good for you. Otherwise, keep the uh, tension there. Keep the chest up. Switch sides. Okay. Now, right leg forward, straight out in front of you. You're going to reach down. Try to touch your heel with your hands while keeping that leg straight. If you need to, if you feel like it, bend your knee just a little bit, give that extra little break, and then stretch down again. Okay. Other side. Going down. Reaching for that heel. A lot of times when you bend your knee to release that tension, when you go back into it, you can get a little bit better of a stretch and you otherwise could. Alright. That's it for our warm up. We're going to be getting uh, straight into our workout now. Our first motion, again, 30 seconds long, we're doing jump squats. So we're going to be down into a squat. And then a little jump overhead. Okay. Three seconds. Here we go. Now, there's a lot of ways you can modify everything that we're going to be doing today. First, the easiest way to modify is just go a little bit slower. If you can't keep up, you're feeling tired at any point, just 
rest for a rep, maybe two reps, and then jump back into it. Do a couple more. All right, up next, 30 seconds. Run, stance, squat. So, in kind of a running position. In the running position, we're gonna be going down into a squat. We're just gonna sit here until you do four reps. On the fourth rep, you're gonna jump, twist, so you have to put this forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One more set. One, two, three, and four. All right, jumping straight into high men. Going side to side, just like our warm up, but this time your leg comes up a little bit higher and you really exaggerate that hold. Two more, one and two. All right. Next up, we got swing kicks. We're gonna grab that stool, chair, or in my case, step ladder. I'm just gonna swing your legs over like that. We're gonna be here for a full minute. Your balance isn't too great on this. You can uh, rest your hand, get your balance as you're going over if you need to. And if you've got a stool and are struggling to get your foot over it, well, then you can grab a chair. And if you're Struggling to get over the chair. Turn that chair around. So you just have to kick over the seat of that chair. Everything's modifiable in this stuff. There we go. Alright. That's our first round through. We're gonna do that exact same thing. Second time. Going into our jump squats. 30 seconds, here we go. Seven more seconds. Two more, one, two. All right, we're on stand squats. Once again in that rubber motion. Down and squat. We're gonna be jumping every four. Four. One, two, three, four. Ten more seconds here. One more set. One, two, three, and four. All right. Airborne Heisman. Let's go in, going side to side. Starting up here. I'm going over the side. If you're not able to do this too well, it's okay. You don't have to jump too far over or really at all. Just try to get that leg up as you can. If you are a pro athlete watching this, 
and go a distance side to side. Two more. One and two. All right. So the swimming kicks our last little move motion until our one minute break. Uh, 30 seconds break. Don't get too excited. Just 30 seconds. Jump straight back into it. 15 more seconds here. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There. 30 second break. Towel off that sweat if you have it. Get a quick drink. Ten more seconds here. Shake it out. A little stretch if you need to. All right. That's our break. First motion. Our second set. We got squat, reach, jumps. Just like our first motion that we did. Going to do squat, jumping out. But this time, we're actually. Going down, touch the ground, and jump it up overhead. Ten more seconds, see? Three, two, one, tap. All right, squat. Switch pickups. Again, similar to the uh, run squat down in that running motion. We're going to drop down, touch your, chill, touch your toe if, you're pop, if it's possible, and then you're going to be switching over to the other side. Here we go. Not good at the uh, twist part of it. You can just step over, squat down, step over. Not doing that jump in between. But as you get better, try to do that jump. All right. On well, next, we've got the double airborne hydrant. Single hydrant. We're going back and forth just like that. This time, we've got a step, step into the hydrant. Step, step up. Step, step. Just like this. Ten more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Our one minute motion, we've got circle runs. This is where you're going to want that towel sitting on the ground in front of you. We're going to be doing one minute running around that circle. But the idea is your head and your chest wants to stay in a line with that towel while your feet do all the work around it.
good thing to use a towel instead of something like the water bottle because I almost guarantee you, you're going to kick it at some point. You don't want to be stepping on your water bottle. One more seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take up the towel, put it aside. We've got the squat reach jumps again. If you're feeling winded at this point and you're struggling, do your best. Get into a full squat. But if you're only able to get back up on a squat without a jump, that's just fine. But I want to give it time. Try to be jumping every time. That said, Maybe you've got that knees, and the squat is the difficult part. In that case, just a little bend. You can put your hands on your knees, and then try to still jump. Like that. All right. Up next, you got the squat switch pickups. That runner stands. 30 seconds. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, back to those double air Gordon Heisman. All right, start up here, step, step, up. Step, step, up. One more. All right, all right, great job. Back to that circle one. If you're doing just part one today, this is the last motion. If you're doing part one and part two all together, then this is about a halfway point. So, either way, bring it on this one. Now, if you went clockwise the first time, you're going to want to go counterclockwise around that towel this time. So, the first rep. First set I did on the clockwise. So this foot minute here, I'm going counterclockwise. Thirty more seconds. One. 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, here we go, everybody. If you jump straight into part two, we've got a quick 30 second break, and I'll see you in the next video. If part one is your entire workout for the day, great job. 
That is a tough workout in and of itself, even just doing half of the B90X plyometrics. We're gonna take just a second. Slow that heart rate down. Feet, drop your hands down on the ground as far as you can go, anyways. And just hang out there for a couple seconds. Right. Feet still wide. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and sway back and forth. Alright. Now, drop down your hands. But up in the air, and with one foot, touch the heel to the ground, so you feel that stretch in your calf. Switch to the other foot. Switch again. One more time. All right. Go into a lunge, pushing forward, so you feel that stretch in your hips. Drop your elbow down to your heel. Or as near to as you can. Alright. Straighten that leg. And you're going to do your best to bring that your nose down to your knee. If you're very flexible, you'll be able to do that. If you're not very flexible, that will sound crazy to you. Do that same thing with your other foot. Other way. So, in this case for me, left foot forward, feeling that stretch through their hip. Dropping your elbow down to your heel. Straighten that leg, nose down to your knee. Part two, what are you doing here? Get over to part two. Your uh, 30 second break is long overdue. But that is part one of a great T90X workout. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you.